Hey, welcome to Pocket Knives and Harmonicas. I'm Brenny. Glad you could make it. Yeah, I just wanted to jump on as quick as I could here and uh, and just uh, throw my two cents in to the thankful Thursday that is going around. I believe uh, Singing Toad started that a while ago. Interesting idea and uh, first time joining in. So yeah, keep it short. Um, just on the table, have the Boker Cattle Knife. Um, when I, you know, was really digging into slip joints a little while ago, Jersey Knife Guy, I just watched every video he had, and when he showed this knife, uh, yeah, I went out and spent, you know, pretty, pretty much all my money on it. So, um, yeah, thanks, Jersey Knife Guy. Um, I do appreciate you, though, and uh, your, your knowledge and sharing your knives with us. Um, this one, the book. Uh, the, the the Buck Saunter, uh, the first year it came out, 2022, I think it was, or something. Um, Gary, the last ranger, uh, I watched his video on it and uh, decided to pull the trigger on it. So thank you, Gary. And yeah, really glad you're, you're healing up, buddy. Good to see your videos uh, pop up once in a while and, and wish you all the best, you know. Um, yeah, this knife community is pretty friendly, uh, welcoming, and I did not expect that. Really, did not expect that. So, what a what a wonderful surprise! And you know, a channel like uh, Baxter's Blades, the Tired Tiger, um, he's just been a ton of enthusiasm and support and uh, just inspiration. Thank you, appreciate that, Baxter's Blades. Um, Steel City Knives, uh, over in England, long way away, but somehow you've uh, you've got a bean on me, and uh, yeah, I I was going through some stuff, and I, I swear you picked up on it and reached out, and I, I appreciate that, buddy. Um, right back at you, and um, yeah, so I just wanted to also give a big shout out and thank you to Singing Toad. He recently started the Cross Canada Knife uh, series, uh, first one, just getting it started. Really appreciate him going out of his way to, to um, bring some of us Canadian uh, knife guys together a little bit. So yeah, if you're Canadian and, and you're watching this or singing toad, let us know that you're, you're part of the Canadian community so that, um, just so we know, you know, right on. But um, when the Cross Canada Knife first started, it went to Surrey from, uh, from Ontario, where, where Singing Toad lives, and it went to Surrey to a nice slice to his headquarters. And then he mailed it over here, and somehow it, it took two and a half months to get from Surrey to the Sunshine Coast, about you know 50 miles the way the seagull flies. Um, we gave up on it and Singing Toad reached into his uh, bag of knives and pulled out another one to start another Cross Canada Knife Challenge, threw it in the mail to me and uh, just before it arrived, the original one showed up. So then there's this extra one and he, him being the, the generous toad that he is just said, hey man, keep it. So here it is and I thought I'd just open it up, Singing Toad. You're the man. What do we got here? I should really have glasses on so I can read some of this. Field Dog Trapper. Dude, do you know that this, if this is a trapper, I love that dog. What's it say? Nostalgic Dog Head Shield. Bingo. Nostalgic Dog. Sounds like a rock and roll band. Let's just take a quick look. This is so kind of you, bro. This is the first uh, frost knife I've ever had. And you know what? This is the first regular size trapper I've ever owned, dude. <laughs> I've got a jumbo trapper, which is way too big. Look at that. It's a trapper. I have a trapper in my hand. Oh, nostalgic dog. 
I'm a nostalgic dog. Okay, guys, thank you, Singing Toad. Um, you'll be hearing from me, brother. And I um, hope you're all doing well. Take care of your families, and that's it for now. Cheers.